Hey guys, it's Ivy. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing the reading habits tag. I'm pretty sure Ariel Bissette created this so if not then I don't know who created it but I got it from her channel. Basically we're gonna find out today if I'm like a chaotic reader or like not. So the first question is do you have a certain place at home for reading and yes I read in bed. That's like that's where I read. I always read in my bed. I'm not a couch reader. Like, I like to be comfortable with my blankets and my pillows in my own setting. So, question number two is bookmark or random piece of paper. And I am a bookmark person. I collect bookmarks, but sometimes, like, I'll set the book down like this, you know, like flat with the page open or whatever. And then sometimes I'll do, if it's like a hardback, I'll do like the little dust jacket inside and like hold my page like that. But that's like, if I'm like getting up to go to the bathroom or something, like if I'm leaving the house then it's always like bookmark. Question number three is, can you just stop reading or do you have to stop after a certain chapter slash a certain amount of pages? And if I have to stop reading, just like at that paragraph or whatever then I finish the paragraph but I definitely try to stop at a chapter I don't like sometimes I'll be like oh I'll read a hundred pages and then I'll stop but I don't stop like at the hundred page mark like I have to finish that chapter still even though I made it to the hundred page mark so I'll read to like page 104 you know question number four is do you eat or drink while reading I will drink like coffee or tea or whatever but I absolutely didn't like do not eat while I'm reading like if I'm eating then I have to like put the book down because eating requires all hands all hands on deck so no I don't eat while I read question number five is multitasking music or tv while you read and this is the only way that I can read I cannot read in silence I have to have chaos around me like if I'm reading before work then I'm reading in like the dining area so it's extremely loud and if I'm reading at home then I have to have the TV on like I'm watching Charmed or like one of my favorite movies and I'm reading or if I'm like out somewhere I'll put my headphones in and I'll listen to like musical soundtracks like Disney soundtracks or Harry Potter soundtracks or whatever but I cannot read in silence I need chaos happening around me or I cannot concentrate like if it's silent then I just feel like my pulse is like beating super hard and that's all I can hear and I just hate it basically you're finding out that I am a freak yeah question number six is one book at a time or several at once and I definitely am at least always reading two books. It's very rare that I'm only reading one. Like, I will have an audiobook and a physical book, sometimes an ebook. Sometimes I'm reading like four, five, six books at once. I don't know if it's like helping me accomplish more or if it's like making me lag behind. But yeah, I'm always reading a bunch of books at once because chaos. <laughs> reading at home or everywhere i like to read at home but like i said i'll read before work or i'll read on break out work and i absolutely never ever ever leave the house without a book never if i don't care if i'm like driving down the street like the book is with me because you never know you just never know and if you know like i'm reading on my phone and the line is long at walmart then i'll read in the line while I wait to be checked out so book with me always all the time forever question number eight is reading out loud or silently in your head yeah I always read in silently in my head unless I'm reading like a book out to like my cousin or like a child or something but like if I'm sitting in my room then I very ever rarely have to read out loud maybe if I don't understand something then I'll try to like read it that way but yeah it's always in my head do you read ahead or skip pages is question number nine and okay if I'm reading for example if I am reading Sarah J Mass I soak in every single word that she has written because I love her books 
if I'm reading a book that I just am not liking it, but there's something intriguing me enough not to DNF it, then I'll skim read. But I never like skip like four pages and then just like so I can finish the book faster. I skim read. I don't just like skip. And I never read ahead. Like I do not want to be spoiled. So I always stay on track. I don't like oh what's the final paragraph on the last page. Like no no no. No. That is a sin. We do not do that here. Number 10 is breaking the spine or keeping it like new and I really don't have like a preference just like whatever happens happens I'm reading the book it's my book um I don't like specifically like try to crack it in half or whatever but if like the book is like really like tight and I need to see the words inside then you know I'll like bend it back a little but most of my books look like they've never even been read. Question 11 is, do you write in your books? No. I've annotated books before, like the last one I did was The Wicked Deep to send it to an author for her birthday, Shay and Shaw. But like, I guess I would annotate my books. Like, it just never crosses my mind because I just want to read. I don't want it to feel like homework. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Okay, that is the, that was my phone. That is the final question for this tag. I guess uh, I'm semi-chaotic. I do have a little bit of order in things. But yeah, if you feel like doing this tag, I'll leave the questions down below for you. And that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys have a beautiful day and may the force be with you. Bye. Thank you.